last time on the office show, Laura and Tina started a doggy wash business that didn't have a name or much money, but did come with a server old enough for senior discounts. So they turned to Office 365, which is a mashup of Office with online services. So now they've set up professional email and IM themselves. They also have cloud data storage that lets them access documents from anywhere on any device and also collaborate on them. But then they found out their main competition is Mitch Grizzard, their former boss, working for a big corporation that doesn't even use people to wash dogs. And that's what you missed on The Office Show. Hey, Laura. So, so now we have email and IM all set up and working, and our documents are securely stored online for us to get anytime. Nice. So Tailspin Puppy Scrubbers is open and wired. Yeah, and come here. Come look. I've almost right. finished our website. Wow, nice. And you did all this with Office 365? Yeah, but I did do a few things that will help. OK, now, the top search engine term for dog washing is actually grooming and not washing. So sense. I put in meta tags like the term grooming in the tag field and in the web page description. And I peppered it throughout the text all on the page. Yeah, that's cool, but we don't want to sound like we're just gaming the search engines, do we? No, we don't want to be one of those sites. But we do want our page to say who we really are. So customers know what they're going to get, and that means to use words that customers will really search, not like jargon or specialty words. OK. And finally, what we really want to do is we want to keep it simple and clean so people can clearly see what they really care about. Clean dogs! Yes! Woo! Did you just bark? It happened. Awesome. All right, Tina, this is so great. We've got our website up. We're ready for customers. We do, but we still have so much left to figure out, right? Like how to use our team site. Plus, we have no database to store our customer information. Customer right. database? Don't you guys need some customers first? Mitch Grizzard. Mitch, we wondered what you were up to. Do you really not have people washing the dogs? Well, are you kidding? With touch-free dog grooming, you stick the dog in a hole, comes out the other side clean, 100 washes a day. Listen, when your little manual operation here goes to the dogs, give me a call. I'll hook you up. Shall we crush him? Like a fine powder. How are we going to crush him? He does 100 dogs a day. We need volume. We need to reach out to, like, dog shows and kennels. We need right. to get proposals out there. You know what? Doug Kim can help us. Ooh, he hates me. He hates him. Stand up. I want to start a business. I want to be my own man. <laughs> Gee, Doris, maybe Office 365 is what I need to live my dreams. And what it does? Gee, maybe I can open that touch free massage therapy practice. So we really want to stick it to Mitch, right? Yeah! Yeah. OK, so that means when those big proposals come in, we got to work fast, yes. okay. right? Which means working together at the same time. So let's show you how to do that. Tina, you've got your Word document up here, your grooming proposal. Yep. Now, Laura, I'm just going on your screen, right? I'm going to click OK, Edit in Microsoft Word. OK. And there it is. You're both in the document at the same time, which means you don't have to wait to take turns. OK, so look. Here's a little icon that says that Tina's working in the document. Mm -hmm. You can see which part of the document she's working in, and you can see her changes just by hitting save. All this in real time, huh? All in this real time. Great. So you can both be at your own houses or whatever. You can still just bang this out in half the time that it would normally What take. if she makes changes that I don't agree with? Yeah, well, you can, you, can go, you, can, you can have a discussion about that. <laughs> One thing that you can do that I've set this document library up for is versioning. You can go back and look at earlier versions of the document. There you go, perfect. So every time you've made a major change, you can go back and say, oh, OK, let's go back to that earlier version. Great. This, this is, is great. We're going to go get Mitch. Let's go get him. This is really going to help us out, Doug. Yeah. Let's go. This we intend to demonstrate that at Flugport, Winkle, and Hopplebaum, we are very serious about version tracking on our documents. The way this document has edits from all 15 group VPs. You must type out each version so each VP can review the other's edits. Of course. And soon shall my vengeful wrath fall upon all 15 group VPs. Doggone it. Where did I put my day planner? It's got all my customer information. Doggy database. Maybe Tina knows. Have you seen my day planner? You gave it to Ron? What do you mean you gave it to Ron? You know, Laura, this is not an ideal customer database. No? No. 
You know what I did? I created a customer database for you in Access, which is available with Office 365. And not only that, right. I published it to your team site so you can view the information from anywhere and you can update it from anywhere. Wow, thanks, Ron. Yeah, let me show you what it looks cool. like. So here are your customer contacts and you can view them right here in the browser. And Look, here's Adam Barr, and we can click here and look at his dogs. Oh, well, you know what? His littlest dog, mm -hmm. he's just got this allergy to gluten. It's really sad. Is mm -hmm. there any way you can make a note of that? Sure, we can customize the database. To do that, you need to open it up in Access. And here, we'll open it up from the browser, and you create the field. Okay. And then you're just going to drag that into the table. And then you're just going to republish back here in the browser. You hit refresh, and there it is. There's your allergies field, and you can enter whatever allergy that Chumley might have. Oh, and I can add it for all the dogs in my database. Sure, you can enter that information from anywhere with Office 365. That's awesome. Adam Barr and I, thank you. You're, they're both quite welcome. <laughs> Would you like your database back? Oh, you can keep that, Ron. All right. I'm on to new things now. I bet you use Office 365 here, huh? Well, we're a very large bank, and, uh, well, excuse me for a moment as I remove my spectacles. Well, uh, we have expensive databases and numerous employees who... Oh, wait, where did you go? Uh, let me just, uh... Oh, yes. Now, what was the question? Oh, well, I, I just thought, um... Aren't you excited to do our next dog? Oh, yeah, I can't wait. This is a dream come true. Yeah, it's, awesome. it's so exciting. I can't wait. Which what? is why I'm here in a spirit of magnanimousness to assist in the grooming of canines. Put him to the big, huge dog wash conglomerate. My considerable skills were being squandered, so we, you know, I'm available. Really? Mitch, because your site said you were doing 100 washes a day. Absolutely true, but only on the one dog. So wait, after all these years as our boss, you want to come work for us? No brainer. How hard could it be? You know what? Hmm. I think we have just the position for you. Hmm. Hey, you guys. This is not optimizing my skills here. It's not using me to my full potential. This is not leveraging my business acumen. Woo! Did you just bark? It happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so cute! Okay, here's a How are we gonna crush him? He does a hundred and away. Data plan. Data plan. Data plan. Oh, I don't know. I'm not from the 80s. Say it. <laughs> hey lady, your dog stinks. This way. Come on, do this now. Oh! Oh! I'm good.